The swing is a sequence, guys, okay? There's, there's two movements. There's a lateral movement towards the pitcher, and then there's a rotational movement. And all the, it all starts with the very first move with your front foot, and we transfer all that energy up through our body. Has anybody ever told you that? That the swing starts from the ground up, and all that gener energy comes up through our body and through our hips and then through our hands and the bat, and it all takes place with balance from the, your stance to your stride to your swing to your finish. It's all in balance with good posture, okay? And I just want to, we, we can't go through it all, but let's just start with one thing because I saw a few of you guys not doing this properly. To do this all in good balance, that same athletic position that we talked about in fielding, balls of your feet, in order to get that energy coming up, we need to not turn this back foot, like squish the bug. Anybody heard of the old squish the bug thing? Squishing the bug keeps your energy down here. We want to get that energy working up through the body. We want you to pop that back foot and get those hips going. So that, see my hips are starting to move and I'm not as flexible as I used to be, but all that energy is starting to come from the bottom up. Look at where my hands are. My hand's still back, my bat's still back here in the launch position. As all this energy is starting to come up and my hips are starting to go to the pitcher and now I just read the pitch and wherever it is, I just deliver my hands to the ball, wherever it is. And you have this great whipping velocity. If this is the bottom of my body and this is the top of my body, it happens like this. Now, if you don't start properly, you can never do that properly. And by not stop starting properly, what we have to do is we have to get that weight right here. Just like when we throw, that weight is there. When we hit, that weight is there. And I saw a lot of guys doing this. Watch my front foot. Your first move is like this. I'm moving all my weight out there. I can't pop properly and get that weight coming up through my body if my first move is there. I don't have any, anything here. We, this first move, that timing mechanism and that first move with your front foot has to be to its highest point or back. And then I didn't see anybody doing this little move here. So most of you guys lift your feet. You should kind of show the bottom of your spike to the pitcher. Whether you have a high kick or a little kick or even if it's one of these moves. Now that weight's right here. From that position, I can pop that backside and get that weight coming forward, coming up, and deliver the bat to the zone in here, not out here. A lot of you guys want to do this. You want to make this your first move, and then try to hit the ball out here, and everything comes together. Your whole body comes like this. So there's a lot of great instructors at Bobby Valentine's Academy, and we'd love to spend hours with you to perfect this before your season starts. We can't do that now. But if you can just take these next few swings that you take, thinking about that, that first move can't be here. It has to be up, whether it's up here or high and back. Spike to the pitcher a little bit so that that weight gets right here. And then most of you had a, a pretty good move there. But if the weight's already out here, it's a spin move. It's not a pop move. And when you pop it, you let the ball travel and you don't hit it out here. And what happens when you try to hit the ball out here? You're moving that way towards the ball as the ball is moving this way towards you, which certainly speeds up the speed, the velocity of that ball makes it harder to hit. And now you have this movement and this movement at the same time. So this rotational movement that gives you the power to hit is being sacrificed. You, you rotate in here, you let the ball travel, your head's not moving towards the ball at the same time. You let the ball travel just a little bit deeper, which allows you to see the ball better, to adjust to strikes and balls and whatever it is, and bring your hands to the ball. So let's just take a few.